Looking to buy a tire deflator? Watch this first. Now we all know when you go off-road, there's always the conversation of airing down your tires. It's great to do so when you're off-road. It increases your traction area on your tires. It increases your ride comfort. All around it is just the best thing to do when you're going to be on a rocky little trail in sand and mud, snow, deep snow, not in your Acura, I'm talking deep snow, four wheeling, you'll want to air down your tires so you get a little bit more traction, makes your vehicle just a little bit more capable. Now there are several ways to do it, but there is one which has been out as long as I've been in this business from ARB. And I think it is by far the best and my favorite way to go. This guy here, and if you don't recognize the color, this one is so sun beaten. This is the color it's supposed to be for this packaging here. But uh, you buy one and you're done. You take it from vehicle to vehicle. This was been in ZJ's, JL's, TJ's. I've had this thing for a while and it still works to this day. Now they do offer digital versions nowadays from a couple different manufacturers, including ARB, but I think this is really the one that you want to have because it doesn't really ever break. It's pretty hard to have a failure with one of these guys here. I wanna show you today how to operate this and uh, if you wanna buy one, many places you can go buy one, but let me show you how this thing works. So you got your four wheeler here and you wanna air down your tires. First thing you wanna do, of course, is remove your valve stem cap there little ARB end here, nice brass fittings. You're gonna take it, and there's a couple places that turn on this. You got the outer end here and the inner piece of this. You're gonna take this on the kind of middle section and start screwing this guy in. And screw it in, you know, fairly all the way. You don't wanna have this loose on here. Don't go overboard. Now it's tight, I can't twist it with just two fingers, so that's good there. Now, your outer plunger because this does move in and out this is actually what's going to remove the valve core of your tires now the best way i find to do this is just kind of push it in and then spin it with some pressure in you just kind of saw it move forward more that means that we got the actual valve core there we go we're getting somewhere now that you take this guy spin it out and you'll know when you're done you gotta do a little positive pressure while you're doing this start spinning it and right now we should see on the gauge our tire pressure right now if we pull this it releases air pressure once you have it down to the air pressure you want by pulling it, you check where you're at then you can take this push it back in once again you got to put some positive pressure in but push it back in twist obviously clockwise closes your valve core you're locked in now you can take this guy on your middle one and unscrew it And we're done. Valve cap goes back on and you've got yourself aired down. Repeat that at all four corners. And once again, my favorite tire deflator.